From an Amazonian river monster spotted in Florida to a deadly stingray responsible for the murder of a would-be bride, here are 10 of the scariest and most dangerous creatures found in rivers. Number 10. Amazonian River Monster in Florida In Florida, a monster all the way from the Amazon has been spotted. This happened in 2021, as if Florida wasn't dealing with enough invasive species already. Forget about the invasive pythons. Now Florida has to deal with monstrous beasts living in the rivers too. A beast that can grow to over 10 feet or 3 meters in length while weighing up to 200 pounds, over 90 kilos. The monster is also armored like a tank and can headbutt a person with the force of a 10-ton hammer. I'm of course talking about the Arapaima a dominant predator that lives throughout South America in the Amazon River. How exactly it got to Florida is something of a mystery. So far, only one has been found. A local woman came upon the carcass of one of these giant fish, which happened to be larger than her seven-year-old daughter. The fish also had a hook in its mouth, suggesting someone had tried to catch it only to have it get away. And that's no surprise, seeing as the Arapaima is one of the strongest river fish in the world. How many Arapaima are living in Florida is unknown. Nobody has any idea if it really is an invasion or just a really scary coincidence. But in any case, the Arapaima is the king of the Jungle River and maybe now king of Florida's rivers. Number 9. African Lungfish The African Lungfish is another horrifying monster that lives in rivers, but it also lives in freshwater swamps throughout West Africa and South Africa. The lungfish is a prehistoric animal that goes way back before even the age of the dinosaurs. The African lungfish is quite similar to the coelacanth in that it is a living fossil. According to Oregon Zoo, the African lungfish has gone unchanged for over 400 million years. That makes it one of the oldest living animals on the entire planet. So what is so perfect about the lungfish that it hasn't needed to evolve in almost half a billion years? Well, it has a few clever adaptations. First, it has two lungs and is able to breathe air. Second, the lungfish is able to secrete a layer of mucus to form a cocoon around itself, which it can then live in for up to a year if its home in the swamp gets dried up. The fish hides in its cocoon, breathing through its lungs until rainfall fills the swamp back up with water. African lungfish are omnivorous, with a diet consisting mainly of fish, frogs and mollusks, as well as seeds and tree roots. They range in size from 6.5 to 40 inches, so about 17 to 100 centimetres long, and can weigh up to nearly 8 pounds or 3.5 kilos. The most interesting thing about the lungfish, though, is that it can use its hind limbs to push itself off the bottom of the riverbed or swamp, propelling itself forward like a miniature rocket. Scientists believe the lungfish is closely related to whichever animal eventually used its hind legs to crawl out of the water and onto the land, where it eventually evolved into you and me. Are we all essentially just lungfish? Number 8. The Thames River Monster The Thames River Monster is a supposed creature that lives, of course, in the Thames River in the United Kingdom and looks like a giant serpent. The Thames River runs through London, the busiest city in all of the UK. Sightings of the snaky beast have primarily been made in Greenwich, with eyewitnesses claiming the monster is anywhere between 30 to 170 feet in length. That's up to 50 metres long. Now, it's important to understand that there's obviously no creature on Earth 170 feet or 50 metres long. Even the legendary prehistoric Titanoboa wasn't that long. That said, there could definitely be a creature very similar to the Loch Ness Monster with a length of between 30 and 50 feet or 9 and 15 metres lurking somewhere in the huge river. There has actually been footage uploaded to YouTube where a large and serpent-like animal has been seen slinking through the water near the O2 Arena. Some claim it was nothing but a whale, others said it could be Godzilla, and some people called it a submarine. Unfortunately, no real monster has ever been caught in the Thames River, and until someone finally pulls an angry sea monster from the water, we just won't know for sure what's hiding down there. Do you think it's possible for a creature that big to remain hidden for this long? What is it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 7. Goliath Tigerfish The Goliath Tigerfish is humongous, ferocious and absolutely horrifying. This frightening monster lives throughout Africa and is the biggest member of the tigerfish genus. It has teeth that look an awful lot like incredibly sharp daggers. 
The biggest one ever caught weighed over 150 pounds, over 70 kilos, and it is faster and more powerful than any other African game fish. According to Animal Planet, locals say that the Goliath tigerfish is actually the only fish in Africa that doesn't live in fear of other horrifying river monsters like crocodiles. It's even been known to feast on the smaller ones. Animal Planet also claims there have been attacks on humans by this angry fish. It's the bully of the Congo Basin. This monster fish puts more energy into killing than it does into breeding. The local population of the Goliath tigerfish takes 5 to 14 years to multiply, so trying to catch one isn't recommended, and it is almost impossible to catch with a fishing rod, seeing as it's so strong it can just snap the line. There's even one safari promoter that makes their clients read a cautionary warning about the Goliath fish before venturing off on a fishing trip. In other words, this is one mean fish, and perhaps the scariest in all of the African waterways. Number 6. 100-foot snake in Borneo, there was a photograph taken that allegedly showed a snake over 100 feet or 30 meters in length. The photograph was supposedly taken by someone on a team of scientists monitoring the region by helicopter. And while there's no doubt that the photograph itself is real, there has been a lot of controversy lately over whether the snake seen slithering up the waterway is factual or a hoax. After all, the biggest snake in the world is the green anaconda, which lives in South America, nowhere near Borneo. The anaconda can only grow to a maximum of 28 to 30 feet or 9 meters. Even the extinct titanoboa never grew much larger than around 42 feet or 13 meters. A snake of this size would not only be a miracle, it would be a legend come to life. If real, it would flip everything scientists know about snakes and wildlife on its head. Number 5. Payara The payara is at the top of the food chain when it comes to South American rivers. There is absolutely nothing appealing about this crazy looking fish. It is freakishly large, with a mouth that looks too big, full of scary teeth, and some have even compared it to a wolf in the water. It is also commonly known as the vampire fish for a very good reason. It has two extremely long teeth protruding from its lower jaw that are so long they can stick straight through your forearm and come out the other side. Ouch! These fangs can measure between 4 and 6 inches or 10 to 15 centimetres in length and they're so sizable that payaras are born with holes in their upper jaws to fit them until their mouths grow to the monster proportions they reach. The payara can grow to roughly 3 feet or a metre long and weigh up to 35 pounds or 16 kilos. And while this isn't that large, it's the fish's carnivorous enthusiasm which makes it such a danger. It's like a bigger and scarier version of a piranha and even more aggressive. They can chase off bigger fish, they're very hard to catch on the end of a fishing line, and if you're not careful while swimming in their territory, you might get a payara's fang stuck in your backside. Number 4. Bluefin Monster A huge monster fish was found in the River Severn, recorded at being 7 feet or 2.1 metres long and weighing 150 pounds or 68 kilos. It was discovered by a trio of friends one day while they were just paddleboarding through Gloucestershire in the United Kingdom. They were shocked upon the discovery and at first had no idea what the massive fish even was. The beast was later identified as a bluefin tuna, which is incredibly strange because it shouldn't have been anywhere near the UK. Bluefin tuna live in warm seawater hundreds of miles away. They typically live in the ocean and can be found diving up to 3,000 feet, almost 1,000 metres deep. These impressive fish are built like aquatic torpedoes and have the best vision out of any bony fish in the whole world. There are three species of bluefin tuna, with the largest and most endangered being the Atlantic bluefin. So how did this incredible beast get stuck inside of a British river? Well, nobody really knows. The only reasonable explanation is that it got lost. It ended up swimming straight into the river's mouth, and by the time the three friends on their paddleboards found it, the fish was already dead. What would you do if you found a fish where it didn't belong? Number 3. Amazon Stingray one of the most dangerous river monsters in the world is the fearsome Amazon stingray, also called the freshwater stingray. It's been blamed for numerous deaths and according to the Smithsonian National Zoo, is actually responsible for more injuries to humans every year than any other species in the Amazon. Amazon stingrays are quite rare, they live specifically in the Amazon River, and they are one of the only rays to inhabit freshwater instead of saltwater. The Amazon stingray can grow to be huge with a width of about a foot and a half and tails that can grow over a foot or 30 centimetres long. 
They spend their time hiding in the mud of the riverbed, waiting patiently before ambushing smaller fish. They have mighty powerful jaws that can crush clams and mussels, though they also like to eat shrimps and worms. At this point, you're probably wondering what makes the stingray so dangerous. It's the tail that causes the most harm to humans, as it has a stinger with barbs that can effortlessly puncture your skin. And when that happens, you're going to be injected with venom. The venom isn't usually fatal, but it can cause intense pain. And other than pain, if the stinger happens to pierce something vital like your heart or lung, you can end up bleeding to death in the water. Number two, alligator gar. The alligator gar isn't necessarily deadly. However, it is pretty scary to look at. Alligator gars can get huge, up to six feet or 1.8 meters and over 100 pounds or 45 kilos. They also look kind of like dinosaurs, or at least something that would be swimming alongside dinosaurs millions of years ago. There are four species of gar found in Texas, but the alligator gar is indisputably the most striking. It's also the largest. As hard as it is to believe, there is no relation between alligators and alligator gars. They're merely named alligators because they have heads that look sort of crocodilian, and teeth that could easily belong in an alligator's mouth. The relatives of gars appeared around 157 million years ago, but now their modern descendants only live throughout North America and Central America. According to National Geographic, they began in the Mississippi River Valley, but can now be found as far north as Nebraska. Luckily, alligator gars aren't that dangerous, so long as you don't stick your finger in its mouth, you should be fine. Just keep in mind that these beasts can grow larger than a human and have teeth as sharp as razors, so they must be treated with vigilance and respect. Number 1. Monster Salmon When a park ranger was wandering through an old forest in California, he discovered an impressive trove of prehistoric fossils. This is nothing new for California, as it's known to be a fossil hotbed. What really shocked scientists is that among the fossils were the remains of a monster salmon that would have been 400 pounds or 180 kilos when it was alive. Some of these fossils date back 10 million years. According to Live Science, paleontologists sent in to investigate the site also found fossils of a mastodon, an extinct camel larger than a giraffe, and something known as a gomphothere, there, an ancient ancestor to modern elephants. A lot of these fossils were probably carried into the area during floods, though the salmon may have lived in an ancient river that once went through the region. To give you an idea of just how big this prehistoric salmon was, the largest species of living salmon today is the king salmon, which can only grow to about 126 pounds or 57 kilos. That means that whatever was swimming up the river to lay its eggs millions of years ago was roughly four times larger than any living salmon today, making it a true river monster. Thanks for watching. What's the scariest creature you've ever seen in a river? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe for more awesome videos. See you next time. Bye.